In a world that often measures success by conventional standards, Valeria Kozimiako stands out not just for her achievements, but for the incredible journey she has undertaken as the smallest mother in Russia. Entering the Russian Book of Records, her story is a testament to resilience and the strength of the human spirit. Today, we delve into the myriad challenges of motherhood that Valeria faces daily, illustrating that love and determination can overcome even the most daunting obstacles. Valeria's life began like many others, but at just three years old, she was diagnosed with spondylopophyseal dysplasia, a rare genetic condition that leads to abnormal bone growth and structure. This diagnosis changed everything. As her parents grappled with the implications, they chose not to define her by her condition. Valeria recalls her childhood fondly, filled with laughter and play. Standing at only 109 centimeters tall by the age of 13, she experienced the world from a different perspective. Yet her parents' unwavering support and love allowed her to thrive. Although I was smaller, I never felt different, Valeria reflects. She remembers running alongside her peers on playgrounds, climbing the monkey bars, and feeling the wind on her face as she rode her bicycle. Her friends lovingly called her their ringleader, a title she wore with pride. The joy of childhood, however, was often overshadowed by the complexities of her condition. At age 13, as her peers began to date and navigate the complexities of adolescence, Valeria felt the pangs of isolation. I was surrounded by friends, yet I felt alone, she admits, reminiscing about the moments when she longed for companionship. The challenges escalated as her legs began to deform. Despite her parents' hope for corrective surgery, doctors refused, citing concerns over her still-growing body. Hormone treatments were also deemed unnecessary, leaving the family disheartened but determined. They clung to the hope that with time, Valeria's situation would improve. However, as she transitioned into adulthood, the harsh reality set in. At 18, after numerous visits to specialists, she learned that it was too late for the surgery that could have alleviated some of her struggles. Faced with this verdict, Valeria confronted a turning point in her life. She recalls the overwhelming feeling of despair, but chose to embrace her situation with defiance. I may be different, but I refuse to be defined by my limitations, Rukhtin, she declared, a mantra that propelled her forward. During her teenage years, she experienced a unique kind of loneliness, a yearning for love and companionship while navigating societal expectations. I remember confiding in a friend about how everyone seemed to pair off while I remained on the sidelines, Valeria says. Her friend's reply, though blunt, resonated deeply. You are who you are, Valeria. Embrace it. This moment sparked a shift in her mindset. With newfound determination, she resolved to live life on her own terms, pursuing her education and engaging in everyday activities with the same fervor as her peers. At 18, her life took an unexpected turn when she met Dimitri through an online support group for individuals with disabilities. Initially skeptical of his intentions, Valeria found herself drawn to his kindness and understanding. It took time for me to let my guard down, but after six months of chatting, I realized I was in love, she recalls. Dimitri's determination to visit her, despite the distance, showcased a commitment that Valeria found heartwarming. As she prepared to travel to Yekaterinburg to meet him in person, her parents expressed their concerns, especially her father. I worried about her safety, about her being alone on a train, he admitted. However, Valeria's mother stood by her daughter, encouraging her to seize the opportunity for love and happiness. If I don't let you go, you'll always blame me for what you missed out on, she said, words that resonated deeply with Valeria. In Yekaterinburg, Valeria experienced a whirlwind romance with Dimitri, culminating in her decision to move there permanently. Their love flourished, culminating in a beautiful wedding in 2015. Yet as Valeria embraced her role as a wife, her dreams of becoming a mother were met with skepticism from medical professionals. Doctors warned her of the risks associated with pregnancy due to her condition, predicting a tumultuous journey ahead. They said I might have to lie down for the entire nine months, but I was determined to prove them wrong, she insists, her spirit unyielding. Valeria's pregnancy was challenging, yet she maintained her independence and determination. I didn't want to be seen as fragile, she says, reflecting on her resolve to stay active. When complications arose during her pregnancy, Valeria remained steadfast, 
drawing strength from her love for her unborn child. The couple faced uncertainty, especially when a doctor raised concerns about their baby's health, suggesting the possibility of a dwarf. This moment plunged them into fear, leading them to seek genetic counseling to dispel the worries. Being a mother was my dream, and I refused to let fear dictate my reality, Valeria states emphatically. In the maternity ward, she encountered hurdles that tested her resilience. Valeria struggled to reach the high cradles and care for her newborn daughter, Evangelina. Her creative spirit shone through as she requested adjustments to accommodate her needs. I propose they place an extra bed in the room with a cradle, but the staff was resistant at first, she recalls, laughing at the absurdity of the situation. As Evangelina grew, Valeria faced new challenges. Her daughter was energetic and curious, often racing ahead in the park, prompting Valeria to adapt her parenting style. I had to lead her on a leash to keep her from running away, she chuckles, embracing the reality of her unique situation. The transition to kindergarten brought about fresh concerns. Valeria worried about how other children would perceive her and her daughter. Yet as she walked into the classroom, she was met with warmth and acceptance. The kids quickly grew accustomed to me, calling me Eva's mom as if I were just like any other parent, she says, her eyes lighting up with pride. At home, Dimitri became a crucial ally, modifying their living space to ensure Valeria's comfort. Together, they made adjustments, lowering light switches, moving necessities within reach, and ensuring that their home was a safe haven for their family. However, once outside their home, Valeria faced a world that was often unaccommodating. There are barriers everywhere, she explains, recalling her experiences in public spaces. High counters at clinics and banks pose significant challenges, often leaving her feeling invisible. When I enter a clinic, I knock and brazenly open doors because otherwise I might not be noticed, she shares. This defiance is a reflection of her resilience and determination to navigate a world that often overlooks individuals with disabilities. Yet despite these obstacles, she finds solace in the kindness of strangers. In Yekaterinburg, people are incredibly helpful. If I struggle, someone is always there to lend a hand, she says, emphasizing the community's compassion. As her daughter grows, Valeria grapples with the challenges of balancing motherhood with her own limitations. She often fears for her ability to provide for Evangelina as she faces worsening pain in her legs. Doctors have told me that I may eventually need a wheelchair, she confesses, though her spirit remains unbroken. But I refuse to accept that as my fate. I believe in progress, in the potential for change, she adds. Valeria's journey has not been without setbacks. For years, she faced barriers in finding employment, often receiving rejection based solely on her height. I was told I wouldn't be visible at a high counter, that my stature disqualified me from even basic jobs, she recalls with frustration. However, the pandemic sparked a new passion within her manicuring. What began as a hobby blossomed into a professional pursuit. I started doing my own nails, then my friends, and eventually enrolled in a course, she explains, her eyes shining with pride. Now a certified manicurist, Valeria plans to work from home, embracing her newfound independence. I want to create a life where I can be a mom and a professional, she states confidently. As she reflects on her journey, Valeria considers her family her greatest achievement. I finally became a mother, and while many see it as heroic, to me, it's simply my reality, she says with humility. Her story resonates with many, serving as a powerful reminder that limitations exist only in our minds. I hope that by sharing my experiences, I can inspire others to challenge their perceptions of what is possible, she concludes, her voice unwavering. In a world filled with challenges and uncertainties, Valeria Kozimyako stands as a beacon of hope proving that love, resilience, and determination can pave the way for extraordinary lives. Dear friends, if you found inspiration in Valeria's story, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more heartwarming tales of resilience and strength. Together, let's celebrate the incredible journeys of individuals who, despite facing immense challenges, continue to inspire us all.